most. Uh -huh. Safari service, safari onion type. And uh, th there is a type of from. Uh, Excuse me. This type also, I've said. I've too much, most of it. Mm. And then East African seed. Mm. Even red coach, though it is high, but we do sell it. Yeah, farmers, they wanted to buy uh, uh, the genuine uh, goods and which they have been using uh, for a long time. But because for us, we normally sustain them how uh, other cities they normally come because some cities they they are resistant so we normally exercise them to uh, to buy also hybrids so that they can get uh, 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 high produce at nursery stage water the seed beds heavily until they are saturated to avoid damage to the seedlings Transplant when your seedlings have gained the size of a pencil and show four to five leaves. Yeah, when you want to prepare nursery for onions, you need the good black soil, preferably a room. Uh, if you have uh, compost manure, you apply it, but should be mature enough. Because if it is not mature enough, it will, it will burn the seeds. Then after that, you you broadcast you broadcast the seeds uh, look after after well, after you cover them for, for for one week after that you you, you remove the, the the grass on top then you start watering if it is raining you don't water if it is if it is if it is if it is not raining you apply you you water every morning and evening that one will take you for a period of one of five to six weeks in Ixoro. If it is not, if it is in a place, in a hot place like in Tungamo, it can take four weeks in a nursery. But here in Ixoro, we have experienced it and we have come to find out that, that it takes around five to six weeks because I think of the coldness, the conditions are the conditions are cold, colder than the other part of the country. Then you, the worst enemy of of, of the of, of onions is the fungo. So you compress the fungo using chemicals. Then after that, you you do the weeding. That's also an enemy, an enemy of the of the of the of, of the onions. After that. If it, is, if it is ready for transplanting after six, five or six weeks, we transplant to the garden. After transplanting, then it will take you another three months, but it will depend on the areas. Like in Ichisoro, it's a bit longer compared to other areas of Ankole areas. Ankole is warmer and Tijezi is cooler. So in Ankole, it will take you two and a half months, three months. Then in the Chigezi area, it will take you to four months. It's because Chigezi is more cooler compared to Ankole, which is more warm. Onions, you can't grow them like millet. Eh? There is a spacing you have to give. For example, uh, red coat it is a high value variety eh? and it goes slightly bigger so our first spacing it was 15 centimeters uh, later we changed it to 10 centimeters let's say from plant to plant i think farmers who who are listening or will see me you understand the spacing eh? from plant to plant it is 10 centimeters and this sentence does which means your onion the barb radiation of it it will cover that area all assuming that you have gone physically actual spacing it will cover the whole area you find there is no space for weeds in your gardens there is no need to make a big spacing you'll be harboring giving chances to weeds instead of growing a crop a very big difference between these varieties. First of all, the, the direct coach has a very high growth figure. As it grows, it 
tuberculosis very fast. When it comes to transplanting, it has unique characteristics whereby it does not have any transplantation shock. When you transplant today and come tomorrow, you find it standing as if it has finished one week. But the other varieties also will show you later on. When you transplant, they get a lot of shock. It takes two to three weeks before it stabilizes. So that's one good attribute I've seen with it. Then, in terms of management, we have not had serious problems. Besides weeds being a very big problem in this area, but this variety is so, so resistant that even if it doesn't rain for two, three months, I mean, three, two, three weeks, you don't have any challenges with it. Onions need around four months to mature. The last three weeks before harvest, the weather should be absolutely rain-free. In western Uganda, farmers in Ruchiga, Kabali, Rwanda, Ntungamo and Chisoro have profited from onion growing, especially those growing the red coach variety. <laughs> kandi wo mukwingo butunguru umwe kandi ngeze aho kujya ngo nshomesa abana nshomesa abana mbone mwe sente nshomesa abana na nyenye bise akarenka bampinga ho hariho oba kweta uburukwije mu muguti handi hariho tukatushinga na large bombe 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 red hate byo kutwa bintu bihinga biturusiyo mu kufuhirira Fuhirira munonga swarubwire buringwa ntfuhirira konka kandi hati kweze mbibeje enunje twayeje sibwa no kuturabo fuhirira no mubazo oguru oguru kubasa kubukuzaje twaza mbibeje enunje ya red coach hati niyo turukuhinga red coach ne yerego moka kandi teri kurusiya no muku omukufuhirira mgenu yeboneye kandi nego moke jiro butunguru buhango kandi wano sharuru musharuru gubonera turi kugira mu faji eboneye konke cyabantu batari kugijurira kugigura kugihinga ne bay yembiwe embibo erga higuru kandi abantu bakujebase niko natandikire kacaka kuna atandikire nkatandikana na grams 200 grams hata mm. akina ihire ho kuna arebire kanshiriza kugura kiru ngono hati ngo mukirisha tu nka 1 and 1/2 eka kandi ni teka teka ko ya munke gutyanga kama nkachinana chinana ni chirujira season obundi ne basa kujira omushana konka enjura yo ninunje a road coach konka twagira mu mushana obundi ni ibintu nibikira eh obundi ubutunguru ni buje kubwa kubwa buravuze bwo kandi butayeraje cause for thrips uh, these thrips are dangerous, especially in the dry seasons, because they lay eggs in the soil. They are not easy for uprooting. The first chemical or the first preventive, if you have water, because they lay down in the dry soil. So with water still, you can reduce percentage of laying eggs. Then after that, we have chemicals recommended for, uh, usually for spraying, especially like lambadasa. And usually we recommend in the evening, please spray in the evening. Then we go to part of fungicide, we have uh, down I think most of them you understand it. Uh, it attacks onions at a young age and old age. It is really a fungus that is very serious. Yeah? Usually we recommend, uh, you have to go with, uh, at the moment, uh, mistressy. We have several chemicals we have mistress C, we have Mazda, we have Mancozeb, mostly for preventive. We have chemicals for preventive and chemicals for curative. Usually we recommend if you go to a shop, to agro input shop, you ask for a chemical that will go for preventive first. Don't go for curative before you go for preventive. 
fab first prevent if it persists and you see the signs of uh, attack infection please then ask for a curative when a season is harvested farmers rely on their network of traders to buy their gardens out the traders make this by basing on the quality it was not because of too much rain I would be comfortable. I would be comfortable that I would get around a uh, hundred bags, but because of those conditions that affected the the the, the 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 plant, I think I may harvest like eight eight bags. Each bag per now is 230 to 250, and the uh, the demand is high, and. Uh, but if I, if I wait for around one week, because people don't have the onions in the gardens, it may even go to 300,000. Let's assume you will sell your bag at 150. Hmm? Then cut trade with 150 bags and 150,000 per bag. How many millions? You are over 20 million in one acre. Uh, for example, other local varieties, you'll find four kilograms, five kilograms goes to one acre. And actually, in one acre, in four kilograms, five kilograms, you'll harvest only 30 bags. Then, what will you go with? me. <laughs> Babiranga watu kubira masimu ni watu gamba watu nguru bubaze tukenda tandi kakula na fini tupa wa programu ni tuwa gamba oba mubanga weriti ni tujolu sine tubula ambula ko wetula banga te, tebuna kula vulunzi ni tuwa gamba mbunde mu wiki bilo ba wiki emu orwe nsonga watu nguru buno bubu kula nga tebuna bala vulunzi bubu teka mso babu genda kono neka nechi lala balibe tupa tupu gendo obutu nda but the So, but to the mobile me by fee to Janet Wogela Muconabo, the Tubagam of Tungu, which I will move about Kuzem, but I came to Mukure, Kati, Father Single Bakoya Program, but to Tabedao or Tungu, Tabasola Bukur and Katuna Tuka. Kwa Sudani, ni Kenya, mchitundu chiba hita Bungoma, ni Kitare, uh, Bayoba, nge mchitundu vya na uwa bazi zobu tungulu, ulusi ngeenda Kongo, ni Ngulayo, ni ndete Uganda, mbantu wala Kampala, Rwanda ngatewa na Jigara, mbate ngeenda Rwanda ni Ngulayo, ni ndetu wala Kampala, ni ngeenda Kenya, jiba hita Urutumu, ni Nyeri, ni Ngulayo, ni ndete Uganda, Rusiba uh, Babu Zenyo, Genda Ni Siopia, Nayon in Chimayo, to sing an Akuboda Ye Siopia, Ne Kenya, or by Tamuyale, then Nenzija, Ningenda in Tanzania. You turn to get Tanzania, Nenda Idomu, Nenda Singida, Nenda Doma, Mbeya, Baby to Baby to do your life sing and tell of Gendamu. Yeah, it could be better to correct the produce to the market. But the problem is movements. For instance, from here to the other side where we are selling, you find when it is a vehicle, to, to hire a vehicle from the garden, the other side you find when you are paying 200,000. And even there are other people to approach. So that, that trend, it takes a lot of money. But for us, we say, we say I decide and I say, in this garden of mine, I want 10 M. Then for him, he consider transport, uprooting, all of that one. Then you say, maybe I can cut and then you give me like 8 million. Then we sell from the garden. That's why we are not uprooting. Because of expenses we, you are getting from the other side. Uh, yeah. After curing, it is recommended to pack the bulbs in open ventilated boxes or nets and store them in a cool dry environment 
ready for the market. In major towns of Uganda, one kilogram of onions costs 5,000 Uganda shillings.